So this is not a re-upload but a re-recording because I delete all the videos immediately because I think they're embarrassing and I don't want them on my hard drive. However, as you might have noticed, I have deleted a great deal of videos. That is because, like, every person I know in real life has found my YouTube channel and it's super embarrassing and I want to kill myself most of the time now. But, I need money. Like, I seriously need money. I think I'm going to die if I don't get any money soon. Um, because I need to buy cute clothes and like anime figures and I don't have like any sort of income. I work for less than minimum wage. So here is dating advice from a femcell. Femcell as in never was in a fulfilling relationship and socially inept. Now some of you might point your finger at me and go like don't you have a boyfriend? How are you a femcell? Well, yes, but being a femcell is a mindset. I'm very autistic. I have no friends. I look like shit. I hate my life. I hate men. So I guess that is like basically what makes a femcell. Okay, moving on. This is uh, just a joke. Mostly. Okay, some of the things I say are serious, so uh, try to determine what I say is important or not, okay? But take everything with a grain of salt, okay? Thanks. Okay, who can use those precious pieces of advice? Um, since I'm talking about men here, it is like for gay men with no game, so most of gay men, I think. Women, of course, like heterosexual women, ponies, they dems, zizirs, and whatever you identify as. Um, if you want a dick in your mouth, this video is for you, okay? Next. What men should you avoid? Number one, starting off with the worst ever, older men. If you like older men, this is something you would go for. But beware, older men are not more mature, okay? Don't think that a 40-year-old man is going to treat you better than a 20-year-old man. Since they are men, they will both treat you like shit, okay? Next. An older man will not spoil you, okay? That is a common misconception, <clears throat> unless you're dating like a Dubai chic. Do not expect an older man to pay for anything, okay? They're stingy as fuck. They will make you pay for like an Uber or a Lyft, okay? Don't fall into that trap. Next, there is a fucking reason that a man is wifeless and childless at 50, okay? Ask yourself. Can that man be so good if he has nothing? Like, if he's divorced, okay, everyone's getting divorces today. But no children, no wives, nothing at, like, his grown-up age. There's something wrong with him. There's, like, a reason that no woman stays in his life for, like, a long time, okay? And... Again, the obvious, get over your father issues, okay? Go to therapy, do not fuck older men, okay? Just be normal. Okay, next are gamers. If you like gamers, this is something you would go for, okay? A gamer will not have sex with you, okay? He is busy gaming. Um. I am a woman, I am not into that kind of thing, okay, I do not know what a Fortnite is, but apparently Fortnite is like really popular again, or still, I don't know. If your boyfriend plays that, he will not fuck you, okay? 
So don't go for a gamer. A gamer is probably racist or sexist or both. Um, if you have ever been in like a Call of Duty lobby with like Polish people, Russians, whatever, they are brutal, okay? If you're like a woman with some sort of self-respect, do not go for a gamer, okay? Thanks. Next, depending on the gaming severity, he might piss in bottles or expect you to like cook for him. And if you're not down for that, which I totally understand, do not go for them, okay? And as terrible as it sounds, a gamer loves his teammates more than you, okay? There's something very homoerotic about men who play games together, like video games. So if he cheats on you with a man, do not be surprised, okay? Next. Mentally ill individuals. This is someone you would be attracted to if you like mentally ill men. And now please ask yourself, why the fuck would you go for that? A mentally ill man will stalk and threaten and potentially murder you. I'm speaking from experience here, okay? If you have followed my lore as um, some of you name it, you know that I lived in fear for like a long time. I don't care anymore, okay? I'm, I'm waiting to get murdered at this point. But yeah, it's, it's a bother. The dick might be fire, okay? I'm not lying. Like, I'm not speaking from experience here, okay? My ex-boyfriend was mentally ill and the dick was shit, but... You know, like the saying, don't stick your dick in crazy. Reverse that, okay? Uh, don't let crazy dick get in you. Um, a mentally ill man might have CP on his PC or bodies in his basement. Um, I will not go into detail about this one because I'm not trying to incriminate myself or someone else here, but... Keep that in mind, okay? And now on to the second part, how to attract a man. We have to go with the times, okay? So, we live in 2024 now, okay? This is not the way to go, okay? Don't go with like that sentimental kind of shit. Men think that is gay. Like, if you write a love letter to a man and give him, like, flowers or whatever, he will think you're gay, okay? Just go with what men want today. And there are, like, love languages, okay? I looked it up. Apparently, there is something called acts of service. Physical touch, quality time, words of affirmation. I like those, all of them, or is there more? Oh, gift giving, right. My favorite. Okay, now let's pretend you followed all of my steps, okay? You avoided the creepy man. The old man, the fat man, whatever. And you used uh, the five love languages and you're still single. What to do now? Of course, I'm just kidding, okay? Here's a secret pro tip. Just stay single. Because dating someone for the sole purpose of not being alone is shallow and a sign of weakness, okay? Go to the gym and be like better and look better and do some handcrafting because that's like a thousand times more fulfilling than sex. Well, is it? Like, now that I have like a boyfriend, I'm kind of thinking, is it more fulfilling than sex? Yeah, it might be sometimes, I guess. Okay. So, if you have any questions, 
don't ask me. If you don't have any questions, yippee, you're now um, no longer a femcel or an incel. Or you're still a femcel and like better when it comes to dating.